Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Scatino aka Scat and today we're going to be taking a look at the Windows 10 um, operating system uh, but specifically we're going to be looking at the Xbox One app. Uh, now with Windows 10 you are actually able to your X to your Xbox One to Xbox Live and stream your games from your Xbox One um, to your laptop to your PC um, and I must admit it works pretty well so basically what you want to do like first of all you just want to open the app and if anyone wants to know how I'm actually recording my screen uh, right now I am using the Elgato Capture HD if you hook it up correctly you can actually record your PC uh, through it so as you can see that's what I'm doing um, so yeah so uh, Windows 10 it does reintroduce the uh, the start menu um, and if you just want to scroll down um, down here uh, you will find the Xbox app in fact I will pin that to the taskbar um, yeah so you can go down to your Xbox app and um, you can open it um, and mine will actually connect automatically now to my Xbox One uh, if you just scroll over here this icon here and you can see it's red and it actually says connected that means it is connected now to, to my Xbox One obviously you, your Xbox One has to be switched on in the other room in order for this to work um, but it is connected um, and I can actually stream it now through to my um, laptop obviously you've got your whole Xbox um, live thing here so obviously you, you can speak to your friends as you can see it says start a party over here you know so you can get into a party you can send messages um, it does actually have DVR on it as well um, and, but it does say this for some reason on mine it says this PC is unable to record clips I've not actually looked into that to actually figure any of that out um, but if you can record DVR as, as well um, on this that's fantastic uh, you know you can look at all your achievements uh, what else have we got uh, activity alerts messages everything basically uh, so what I really want to show you obviously is the fact if we click on the home screen um, over here look game streaming stream Xbox One games now so I can actually connect up to my Xbox One and we can play a game basically so if I click into Ori and the Blind Forest click that there as you see come on and then you click play from console um, I have got my Xbox One pad hooked up to the laptop as well uh, so play from console connecting on Xbox and there you go it actually connects to your Xbox One and you can stream it through your laptop through your PC now it's not perfect, it's definitely not perfect, um, I mean for one, at the moment I am running this over Wi-Fi so my connection wouldn't be perfect anyway, but you know it's uh, it's pretty decent um, and I've, I've got a, a pretty good connection as well so I mean mine doesn't run that bad. Um, you know, and I can only imagine it would run a lot better if I was hardwired up with an Ethernet cable. Um, it's not again. It's not um, somewhere where I'd probably Street Fighter or anything like. I wouldn't play Street Fighter over this, but you know, or even some really like complex platformers, even like Ori to be honest. But you know, certain other games, you know, I wouldn't mind. Uh, but as you can see, I'm playing the game. Um, it's not the greatest like quality like I'm not just talking about in terms of um, you know latency issues and stuff like that I mean talking in terms of like the actual video quality I mean let's face it you are streaming over the internet so you know the quality is going to depend on um, on your internet connection basically so yeah like I say it's not great but it's decent you know the game looks nice or is a fantastic looking game um, and you know so yeah it is what it is you know so if somebody's uh, watching the TV and, and you're in bed or whatever you know you can always um, 
play your Xbox games in bed over Wi-Fi now, uh, through your laptop or whatever. So pretty good deal, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm quite impressed with it. I'm quite impressed. Uh, one one of the one of the best benefits of uh, Windows 10, I would think. I could say I can use my Xbox um, pad. Uh, I can just scroll through everything, go into my friends list, even play a bit of Halo if I really want to play a bit of Halo and uh, Master Chief Collection, just like I was playing before. Um, and obviously, like first-person shooters, when you're playing first-person shooters online, I probably wouldn't recommend um, using this service to play them. Uh, I'd play it just directly through your console. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. It works pretty well. Um, in fact, it works a lot better than that PlayStation Now shit does, um, which is fucking horrible, to be quite honest. Uh, but you know, got Halo running on the laptop. You can argue with that. So I'll just give you a little quick of Halo. Just to give you a little showing of what of what this is like. Like I say, different games um, are gonna perform differently depending on how like fast paced they are and whatnot. You know, like Halo they're not going to perform 100% because obviously like Twitch shooters and stuff like that you, you know you need the, the frame rate to be spot on basically but it is what it is and it's decent so there you go so I'll just let this load up just uh, okay, can, can, we, can we skip this there we go Go. We are playing Halo 3. Playing Halo 3 on our laptop. There is a bit of input lag, I can feel it obviously. Uh, but you know, like I say, it's not perfect. But maybe with a couple of tweaks, a couple of patches, um, and if I hardwired my actual connection, it would probably work a lot better. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to using it a bit more, to be honest. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, so, what we can actually do, uh, so we can actually quit out of that just like you would do. Um, and then we can scroll up to the top here. Uh, just click stop streaming, and that will actually disconnect us from our xbox one and we can carry on doing what we're doing so hope you all enjoyed that guys so i just wanted to give you a little bit of a view overview of the xbox one app uh, it's pretty decent like i say um and as always please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and that's it and that's it from me i'm your boy scatino and i'm out peace